Mr. Meeks will uh, is recognized for five minutes on behalf for amendment. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This amendment provides uh, OSHA with an additional 30 million in funding for the agency's compliance assistance efforts in order to support employers, including small business owners in complying with OSHA guidelines and standards related to protecting workers from COVID-19. The Democrats amendment in the nature of a substitute includes increased funding for OSHA with specific focus on money allocated for agency enforcement efforts. While holding bad actors accountable through enforcement is a necessary part of ensuring workplace safety and health, it is critical that Congress focus its efforts on ensuring that OSHA proactively support employers and their workers in efforts to comply with OSHA COVID-19 guidelines and standards. I've had the opportunity to visit with multiple employers uh, within my district, both those in meatpacking, manufacturing, health, and these employers have gone to extraordinary efforts to provide for the safety of their employees, uh, which would rival those that are here in Congress. As carried out by the agency throughout the pandemic, compliance assistant efforts can include supporting OSHA's on-site consultation program, develop detailed industry-specific guidance, answering employers and workers' real-world questions through industry-specific webinars, creating educational uh, videos and other outreach efforts. Since the very beginning of the pandemic last year, employers have worked around the clock to operate under evolving state and local mandates, CDC and OSHA guidelines, and industry recognized best practices to protect their workers and operate safely. Businesses, including those that are struggling to stay afloat, have already invested billions of dollars to implement comprehensive safety precautions specific to their workplaces and educate their workers on the new safety protocols. Nearly a year into the pandemic, the Biden administration has signaled that OSHA may impose, impose new mandates on business owners in the form of a one-size-fits-all regulation specific to COVID-19, as well as a permanent infectious disease standard. This heavy-handed approach gives no consideration to the substantial efforts and cost and investments employers have successfully made to keep their workplaces safe. It is critical that Congress steps in to provide additional money to provide needed compliance assistance to these businesses, especially the small businesses in rural communities. I urge my colleagues to adopt this amendment and support OSHA's compliance assistant efforts to help business owners protect their workers and reopen and continue to operate the economy safely. I yield back my time. 